Holy of Holies. Part 2 Final Thou art indeed the High Priest, there in the Holy of Holies, meet thy God, then, in thine own tabernacle. Just what is my mission in life? Make others better, that ye meet day by day. Do it in and to the glory and honor of the Christ principle. In the body are the manifestations of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. First gain that understanding of self, and why that inner consciousness tells self of the divine that is within. Why that of the inner self seeks to serve others in the correct manner, and make the peace with the inner consciousness and the divine. He meeteth thee in thine own tabernacle, in the holy of holies, in the third eye, the pineal gland. One that is acted upon through the third eye alone, we will find one fed upon spiritual things becomes a light that may shine from and in the darkest corner. The third eye, between the eyes and above the bridge of the nose. This entity has more than once been among those who were gifted with what is sometimes called second sight, or the superactivity of the third eye. Whenever there is the opening, then, of the Leiden or Leidig center and the Kundalini forces from along the pineal cord, we find that there are visions of things to come, of things that are happening. The entity takes most every experience by intuition. Easily made the entity, by entering deep meditation raise the Kundalini forces and body to the third eye as to become a seeress, so that it may see the future and the past. Is the court referred to the body apart from the spiritual centers? Rather is it as the environ without. The body physical and mental within for its sacrificial forces, and then to the spiritual force within as to the holy of holies. Thy body is indeed the tabernacle, the temple of the living God. That which ye may comprehend of him is ever present. He has promised to meet thee in thy holy of holies, within thine own self. Thus it would behoove the entity to turn to that admonition given of old by him who was the lawgiver, yet who prophesied that in the latter day there would rise another even as Moses. Yet he gave, No there is today set before thee good and evil, life and death, choose thou. This applies to thee in thine own problems day by day. And forget not the admonition of the shepherd, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Seek the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever, and they that wholly trust in the Lord shall never want. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the silver and the gold are his, the cattle on a thousand hills. And though ye may be far afield, far astray, his promises are sure, and he hath given, if he call I will hear, and answer speedily. Please give detailed directions for the entity regarding her mental and spiritual development through meditation. Outline the steps she should take that best fit her development. First, purge or purify thy body. Whether this be by mental means or by ablutions, do it in that manner as to satisfy thine own conscience. Then, enter into the holy of holies of thine own inner self, for there he hath promised to meet thee. Conscience is that which awakens the mind of the soul, the soul, that of thine self that is the nearest portion of the dwelling place of the Holy of Holies himself, the Spirit of the Master. Conscience is the nearest dwelling place in our bodies of the Holy of Holies, the Spirit of the Master. Ever shall the Spirit, the conscience, the soul of self, bear witness with his Spirit, as to whether the entity is in the right or the wrong channel for one may fool self for a while. Yet that ever-present inmost self bears that witness with self as to whether the right or wrong course is being pursued, when one keeps self in an at oneness with the Father. Let thy light so shine, in thy application of thyself to the tenets of thine own conscience, and these will not lead thee astray. Know that thine own conscience searcheth out thine own soul in such experiences, and that spirit of choice is ever present. 
consequently, the greater injunction would be Know thyself, in whom ye have believed, and give form to that which will be to the glory of the creative forces and to the honor, materially, of those who have depended, and who do depend upon the entity for choices to be made, in its manner of life and in its activities and associations with its fellow man. How can I extend the borders of my consciousness to include higher dimensional knowledge and achieve greater spiritual illumination? Thy body is indeed the temple of the living God. There he has promised to meet thee. Enter oft, then, within that holy of holies with him as thy light and thy guide, and ye may achieve the greater spiritual awakening. For he hath given, I stand at the door and knock, if ye will open I will enter in and abide with thee. Are hereditary, environment and will, equal factors in aiding or retarding the entity's development? Will is the greater factor, for it may overcome any or all of the others, provided that will is made one with the pattern, see? For, no influence of heredity, environment, or what not, surpasses the will. Else why would there have been that pattern shown in which the individual soul, no matter how far astray it may have gone, may enter with him into the Holy of Holies? Should Jesus be described as the soul who first went through the cycle of earthly lives to attain perfection, including perfection in the planetary lives also? He should be. This is as the man, see? Please guide me with information that will enable me to become of greater service to my fellow man. There's none better than we have given and as may be followed by that which may be brought to the awareness of self through the practical application of those meditative forces that come by setting aside a definite time, a period during each day's activity when there will be the purifying of the body, as in accord with that which would make for consecrating of self in all of its efforts, all of its abilities, and entering into the holy of holies within self for that talk with thy God within thyself. Please explain the veil within the Holy of Holies. May be seen as that given by the Master, these I have spoken in parable lest they see and are converted. What meaneth this? That those individuals' times, purposes, intents, had not been completed or sufficient unto where they would be stable in their use or application of the glory or the opportunity or the factor itself. So with the veil in the Holy of Holies, which might not be entered save by him who had been dedicated to the office of representing or presenting the purpose, the mind of the people as a whole. And then only after consecrating himself for that period or act of service. So within man's own experience, as has been indicated, step by step through that which has been given thee. As ye approach the Father know the way by putting into practical application that thou hast gained day by day. What brought death to him that put forth his hand to steady the ark that, in order, sat behind the veil? That which had brought to that individual material prosperity, laudation among his brethren. Yet the soul had accepted all without dedicating his body, his mind, his purpose to that service. Breaking through the veil to accept and yet not showing forth that which was in keeping with those commands, those promises. For it had been said and given, He that putteth forth his hand beyond that veil shall surely die. Thy body is indeed the temple of the living God. There he hath promised to meet thee. There he does commune with those that seek within the holy of holies. Then, the physical body is a pattern of the universal consciousness. While it may be as in shadow, if it is interpreted properly, the body is that which interprets the revelation, that which interprets as to why there was the choosing of twelve disciples, twelve tribes. This, then, is also as the sun, the moon, the planets. All of these have an influence. Rather are all such, however, influenced by the activity of the individual. For, as has been indicated, man was made in the image of God. Thus he was given the injunction, Be fruitful, multiply, but subdue the earth. 
all things are subject unto thy will. So also the will of the individual entity to know God is subject to the choice that is made in the activity of the impulses that arise. Cleanse the body with pure water. Sit or lie in an easy position, without binding garments about the body. Breathe in through the right nostril three times, and exhale through the mouth. Breathe in three times through the left nostril and exhale through the right. Then, either with the aid of a low music, or the incantation of that which carries self deeper, deeper, to the seeing, feeling, experiencing of that image in the creative forces of love, enter into the Holy of Holies. As self feels or experiences the raising of this, see it disseminated through the inner eye or the third eye, not the carnal eye, to that which will bring the greater understanding in meeting every condition in the experience of the body. Then listen to the music that is made as each center of thine own body responds to that new creative force that little by little this entering in will enable self to renew all that is necessary in him. First, cleanse the room, cleanse the body, cleanse the surroundings, in thought and act. Approach not the inner man, or the inner self, with a grudge or an unkind thought held against any man, or do so to thine own undoing sooner or later. Is the temple here the physical body? Rather the mental in which is the pattern as of the tabernacle, or the holy mount, or that is set by a unified service of the body-mind, the body-physical, the body-spiritual. That vehicle that is without nails, as was the tabernacle as a pattern, not bound together, yet a covering, a place, an understanding for a unified activity with creative forces, or the power of God, the veil without, the holy within, and the holy of holies, knowing that there must be the cleansing, there must be the purifying, there must be the consecration. All of these are as patterns, they are as conditions, they are as experiences for each and every soul. What is meant by the Holy Jerusalem Revelation 21 verse 12? That purpose, that estate to which there is the attaining of those who through the purifying, as has been indicated in the earlier portion, now come to the holy purpose, as the Holy Jerusalem. The Holy of Holies becomes the dwelling as it were of those. Know that not only what ye believe is important, but who is the author and finisher of thy faith. Know ye look not in vain, nor prophesied not in vain, in thy experience in the Holy Land. Neither in the days when the great and terrible day of the Lord came, nor when there were those activities such that judgments were being drawn and brought about in the experiences of those who had been unfaithful to a trust given by the Holy of Holies. Thus know that in which ye believe is able to keep thee against any experience that may arise in thy relationships to thy fellow man, to thy material needs, to life, to death, to the hereafter. For he is the resurrection, he is the life and the light. Keep that faith with him as the author and finisher of same, even Jesus the Christ. Not as a nursemaid, not wholly as a governess, but rather as a teacher, as a companion, as an instructress, as one that may guide not only the body spiritual but the body mental and the body physical of the young. In the care of same, in the unfoldment of mind, in the directing of the spiritual purposes to the one cause, the one way that is found in him, who is the way, the truth, the light. He has so oft stood in that way as to encourage, to direct, to warn, yea, even to offer self as a sacrifice, entering into the holy of holies indeed. That we through him might have life, light and immortality. Hence as that sacrifice, as the spirit of truth, as the spirit of light, as the consciousness of God, he may indeed abide with those, daily, who seek to know his will and his way. What would one describe, then, as the essence of a sunset, the essence of the beauty of a rose, the essence of friendship? the essence of love? These are indicated in what was given to be part of the offering upon the altar in the Holy of Holies when there were certain combinations given that were to be offered as a sacrifice. 
as a sweet odor unto the Lord. Then, what is that sweet odor in people's lives? It is what may be indicated as the essence of love, hope, beauty. These are those things in which people often excel and others pay little attention, yet are influenced by them, and it is not known why. Individuals who live such lives, then, and with all the emotions of nature and of the material world, are indeed those who may be called the children of the Holy One. The appearances in the earth have their influence through the emotions, the vision, the sense of smell, as the body finds rather acute. It is rather sensitive to odors, even at times smelling or conceiving odors not indicated in the experience of others. This indicates the sensitiveness of the entity and one of its experiences in the earth's plane as a man, when, as we shall see, the entity prepared those things that were offered in the Holy of Holies in the tabernacle in the wilderness. Remember the pattern in the mount, how that as one enters into the Holy of Holies within self there one meets the Maker, there he will counsel and guide and direct thee. Then meditate and pray upon those things that are shown thee. For the vision is as true as ever to the man of God, Moses in the mount, or in the plains of Moab or to the apostles in the holy mount, or to any of those that were called for an activity. Glory not in the call, but rather in the service that thou may do to and for and to thy fellow man. What was the source of this experience? Who were the persons who appeared to me? Meeting in the inner self the triune of the body, the mind and the soul, these three ye met in the inner court as represented in the figures and in the numbers. For the body is ever that triune body, mind, soul. Soul of the Maker. The mind, the Christ. The body, the body, or the individual entity. Please explain the meaning of, even as it was given as to when the tabernacle was to be builded or when it was shown even as in the Master's directing when the day when each should stand as a messenger. Each or this soul makes the application personal. In the expressions as shown in the tabernacle, in the orders as given for its construction, the size, the shape, the measurements, the figures above the Holy of Holies. The directions of the colors as indicated for the hangings, the manner in which each board was to be set, the manner in which each skin was to be used or dyed. These were not only for the physical protection but for the expressions that would come in the experience of individuals that took the service or the worship there as being a thing within themselves. Hence became material, emblematical, and the experience of the application of same in the worship there became as a living thing in the experience of the individuals. Thought is reached through the physical forces, and by becoming a part of the physical or conscious mind either lends the strength of subconscious forces or allows the subconscious to direct. Not that the physical mind gives strength, but by allowing the subconscious to direct, and not building the barrier between to be overcome. That to be overcome might as well be met in this plane, for it will have to be met before we can gain the entrance to the Holy of Holies. This is the manner in which to train or conduct the physical to lend the assistance to the subconscious forces to direct and give the help the world or populace needs. As to the material changes that are to be as an omen, as a sign to those that this is shortly to come to pass, as has been given of old. The sun will be darkened and the earth shall be broken up in diverse places, and then shall be proclaimed through the spiritual interception in the hearts and minds and souls of those that have sought his way, that his star has appeared, and will point the way for those that enter into the Holy of Holies in themselves. For God the Father, God the Teacher, God the Director, in the minds and hearts of men, must ever be in those that come to know him as first and foremost in the seeking of those souls. For he is first the God to the individual, and as he is exemplified, as he is manifested in the heart, and in the acts of the body, of the individual, he becomes manifested before men. And those that seek in the latter portion of the year of our Lord, 
as ye have counted in and among men thirty-six he, the Christ Spirit, will appear. Making four, then, in self-patience, which has been pointed by him who is the giver of life as being the qualification in every entity's experience through the application of which every entity becomes aware of possessing a soul. That birthright which is the gift of the Father to each and every entity that may be presented before the throne of thrones, before the holy of holies, in a holy and acceptable way and manner. The abilities as may be manifest in the present earth's experience, these lie in that of the teaching, the reader, or the interpreter of any of the lessons and truths as are given to peoples through the voice, and through the rhythm and harmony of the body. The entity should ever temper same with that truth as is found and as manifested in him to whom the entity has ever looked for the guidance and the directing of ways. In the harmony then of life does the entity find the manifestations of that in the holy of holies as is seen in the creative energy in the material or physical world. In trying to develop a psychic power, am I to feel that the mind dictates to the soul spirit, or does the spirit or emotion dictate to the mind? This depends upon the approach the individual makes to same. The mind is both of the soul and of the material things. When one enters into the holy of holies, or within self, with the surrounding of self with the spirit of truth, according to the promises made by him who is to be propitiation for the activities and the associations with divine love in the material manifestations, then the spirit of truth directs as the mind holds same to that channel, see? The entity was in the periods when there was the journeying from the Egyptian and to the promised land and when there was the choosing of the individuals who were to prepare the various elements which were to be used in the hangings and the preparations of the tabernacle in the wilderness. The entity was then of the tribe of Dan and in the name Sigwalar prepared the cloth which was the first veil between the Holy of Holies and the Ark itself. For if we are able to raise our consciousness to the extent that we can feel his presence, all others are unnecessary. But so often we are much as the people of old, feeling it necessary that we come into his presence, in the holy of holies, with our offerings, and with the consecration of our lives and ourselves, with these material things that assist our mental being to gain the proper balance. So much the greater, though, is our glory if we are able to hold that consciousness without these things. For he is truly a living God, and one that does not have to be called from a distance. It is as was said of old, it isn't as to who will go into heaven to bring him down, or who will descend into the depths to bring him up, for he is within thine own heart. But there is set before us good and evil, choose thou. Those that might be chosen of the Lord for the channel through which there might come that beloved Son, who would make the paths straight, who would bring then man out of darkness into light. With the understanding that the law was written in the hearts of men, rather than upon tables of stone, that the temple, that the holy of holies was to be within. The holy of holies was to be within the pattern to those that had made for the calling as of the voice of one in the wilderness for the people that were scattered as a flock without a shepherd. And behold the day, the hour, the time had come when that shepherd must lead forth his flock, his brethren again into the light of the countenance of an all-merciful father. And there appears, too, the Jupiterian as an arising influence in the association, in the application of the entity in the present experience for dissemination of that to the masses, to groups, through individuals, which has been attained by the entity in its experiences through the astrological or spheres about the earth. Just as those experiences upon the doorways to the greater consciousness of a soul. For here, too, hath the entity had those experiences upon the fixed stars, as upon Capricornus, as upon the influences of that great entrance into the Holy of Holies. And as the entity upon the mornings of its visions hath caught here and there the beauties of the glorious life, glorious expressions of the Son of Man, in his humbleness, his meekness, giving, making, preparing a way, that where he is in the light of the eternal we, too as individuals, as entities, 
may know more of that glory that this eternal Father of light, of mercy, of patience, hath prepared for us that love his ways and manifest them among the children of men. What were the tenets used of that period when I was ruler of the law of one, and after restoring my sight to normal how may I gain an understanding to use same for my fellow man? Only by entering into the Holy of Holies, communicating with self and thy Maker in thy holy temple, as thou hast in many of thine experiences in the earth. Keep studying to show thyself approved unto that within thine inner self, where thou meetest thy Maker. Rightly divining the words of truth, putting proper emphasis in that which is of the constructive forces, keeping self unspotted from the world. As given, this entity may, if will's forces are correctly used, have no need of further development on earth's plane. Does this mean that the entity may, if it chooses to so live, enter God's holy of holies when it leaves earth's plane? Or does this mean that the spiritual entity of Morton Blumenthal is merely preparing for another higher plane of eternity, from which development towards God is to continue? When the conditions as have been outlined and given are considered, this body, this entity, Morton Blumenthal, will see, understand, how the present earth's plane so manifests in his self those conditions that would make it possible for him to develop in earth's plane, and so develop in the spiritual plane that the entity would prepare itself its soul development, of such as would bring it into the realms of the righteous. Will's manifestation in the earthly plane being that barrier. For, as has been given, the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. As has been given, God has not willed that any should be lost. Man's undoing, then, is within himself, by gratifying the desires, the weaknesses of the flesh. Then, as the development of the spiritual entity brings those environments, through which the soul and the earthly entity must pass, or may pass by the relative law of attraction, the will manifests in the earthly sphere, the soul reaching its development by and between the earthly sojourn and its spiritual entity's conditions. The entity was in that land, that period, when the chosen people were being given upon the holy mount the manner of their exercise in the temple, or in the service before the tabernacle. The entity then was among the daughters of Levi, and those chosen to make the vestment of the priest. And to the entity, because of its own abilities, there was given the preparation of the settings of the breastplate, and the putting of the stones thereon, and the preparation of the Urim and Thummim for the interpretations of the movements that came upon the high priest in the Holy of Holies to be given to his people in or from the door of the tabernacle. Thy body is the temple of the living God, a tabernacle, yea, for thy soul. And in the Holy of Holies within thine own consciousness, he may walk and talk with thee. How? How? Is it the bringing of sacrifice? Is it the burning of incense? Is it the making of thyself of no estate? Rather is it that ye purpose. For the try, the purpose of thine inner self, to him is the righteousness. Give us guidance regarding the conduct of our new association. Has been given, in no uncertain terms, and it is needed only that these conditions in each be kept and that every one associated with the association know and keep these principles within. Let each approach every condition with that prayer. God make me worthy to enter into the Holy of Holies and understand how I may serve my fellow man in giving the essence of life to many. Amen. How? How then may ye approach the throne? Turn thou within. As ye meditate, give forth in thine own words these thoughts. Father, God, maker of heaven and earth, I am thine, thou art mine. As I claim that kinship with that holy love, keep thou me in that consciousness of thy presence abiding with me. That I may be that channel of blessings to others, that I may know thy grace, thy mercy, thy love, even as I show such to my fellow man. Let thy prayer be as this. 
as i surround myself with the consciousness of the christ mind may i in body in purpose in desire be purified to become the channel through which he may direct me in that he the christ would have me do as respecting an individual a condition an experience and as you wait on him the answer will come then each day live towards those you meet in the same manner as you prayed